Well, thank you, Jennifer. It's time now for our latest Lost Creek Care Center stop in the kitchen. And today we have a last minute holiday dinner idea for you that involves bacon. In fact, only two ingredients total, bacon and potatoes. And we think that this is the type of recipe that any man can handle. And we kicked Jennifer out of the kitchen. And today, our guys right here, Matt and Andy, are here we to can conquer. Do it. You guys are ready to conquer bacon wrapped potatoes, right? If we can do it, anybody can do it. Trust <laughs> me. We're about frozen pizza, and that's it. <laughs> Before we start, you want, you're, going to, you're going to want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, let me do that. Ready. Let's right. preheat the oven. We've got that covered. You oh, don't okay. have to worry about Thank that. Thank you. So, bacon wrapped potatoes, that's what we're doing. What we have here is the bacon. Lots of it. And then what we have is small, these small potatoes. These are actually small red potatoes. You can do them. Um, with regular potatoes as well, but you, the small ones are obviously going to be easier to wrap. And then my personal recommendation, this is a Martha Stewart recipe, and not that I think I know better than Martha. <laughs> well, but <laughs> in some things, yes. What I would recommend is cutting these potatoes in half, okay. and so they're a little more manageable instead of a... I would recommend deep frying them in olive oil <laughs> and then adding cheese. <laughs> well, we can add on. <laughs> so Andy, you're going to cut the bacon, you're going to cut it crosswise first. So take a... Take a strip of bacon. Should I open my package here? Well, you can just take this here. Sorry, I put a hole in it. And you're going to cut it in half, okay? <laughs> Matt, here's the potatoes. <sighs> Thank Oops. you. We lost some. Because you, bacon is now on the floor. The good part's on the floor, my bad. <laughs> but we need some bacon to wrap, so cut it in half. Okay. And Matt, why don't Crosswise, you huh? cut a couple of potatoes in half as well, just... Well, that's not going to be long enough to wrap. You said half, right? Down the center, yeah. Oh, well, like, we'll just go like for it. Like, rip it like that? <laughs> What does uh, crosswise mean exactly? We're already messing up. So if you have the bacon here. Why can't we just put the whole piece on there, Zach? You're going to just cut it right So I did in that, right? Well, all right. So, Matt, grab one of these pieces of bacon that Andy is so eloquently yeah. chopping. <laughs> and you're going to wrap it around. And you're going to use a toothpick to hold the bacon on. All right. And you can wrap it both ways. We can actually take two pieces if you want and do a Let's second do it sideways. one. I think we should stop cutting. And so. Blanket. Yeah. We get another one. Yeah. yeah get another Sorry. one. Just like it. And then take this toothpick and you're going to hold it on right there. And mm. set it on there. You can do a few of these. Multiple toothpicks. This is an easy last minute if you, if you have to go to a holiday party or you just didn't prepare something. No one's going to say no, or not many people are going to say no to a bacon wrapped potato. You know, at my wife's family Christmas, they wrap water chestnuts with bacon oh. and then they put barbecue sauce on it. Wow. So it's a similar, uh, that sounds similar good. idea. Yeah. Except the water chestnuts are horrible. <laughs> They're like crunchy. Have you had yeah. a water chestnut? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't mind them. Though. I oh, prefer man. potatoes with and bacon. barbecue sauce, that would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I suppose we could try that. I'm wrapping with the entire piece of bacon. This is my <laughs> alternative. I, I, That's I fine. You get the Did extra you bacon, wanna, right? Well, but your toothpick is going to help hold it on. Oh, I forgot about the toothpick. I wasn't so listening. I'll help you out here with the toothpicks. And so what you're going to do is do a few of these, line them up on your pan. Of course, we have the oven at 400 degrees, right? Yeah. The oven. Boy, it's, it's, it's getting hot. heating up right now. <laughs> and what you're going to want to do is place them in the oven, and it's going to be between 40 and 50 minutes. And the bacon is going to become crisp, and the potatoes, of course, will be soft and tender. And then you can pull that toothpick out and have them. So, you guys done? I think so. Yeah, we've done a great I job. Do we do. <laughs> well, I don't know if they're as pretty as these ones right here. Oh, oh man. You know, finished product. Finished product here. And that oven see. was oh, it was really hot <laughs> down there. That on? See, wow. Yep, and they just right around the potato, and doesn't that look Can good? Can we try so them? So do we well, get to try them? Of course. Them? Those are huge. Well, that's why. So you didn't do these ones, did you? No. No. Maybe wrap them in a half. Oh, man. In half. Oh, I am in on these. Very good. good. Yeah. Real crispy. Perfect. I yeah. like my bacon a little well done. <laughs> it's like an inside out potato skin. Very true. Thank Some you. Some sour cream, maybe? No. You can add Don't whatever ruin it, you Matt. want to add. This, again, is courtesy of Martha Stewart. And you can find the recipe at mm. faithandfriends.wtlw.com. That's good. I mean, it's one Perfect. of the best uh, food segments I've been a part of, I, I think. So I think we've got two thumbs up, right? More Absolutely. bacon next week. <laughs>